How you doing, viewers? This is Heretic Plus, and welcome to episode 54 of Let's Play Darksiders 2. We're in this room in the City of the Dead. I'm sick of being lost by puzzles. This is something I can understand. A boss battle. We can do this. We were born to do it. Let's go in. Oh, wait. There's three of them? Okay. Do we... There, there's literally three of them. This is not... This is cheating. I only saw one when I walked in. Bulldog. Shit, and we have no wrath. Good thing that we have a Reaper form saved up, but I want to save it for later in the fight. If only we had enough wrath to, you know, use both flock and our summons, that would be very useful. Gotta build up our wrath more than just our gunfire. We really want to get ahead in these fights. Go get him! Ah! Can't touch this! Ba-na-na-na! Can't touch this! Ba-na-na-na! Ba-ba-ba! Ba-ba-ba! Killer! Ow! By the way, some good news in, in my life, um... For those of you who don't know, or for all of you who don't know, um, I'm in a band, uh, we're called Shadow Has Wings, and we just finished recording our first single. Pretty, pretty exciting. Uh, I am the lead vocalist. Need more wrath. Yep, the song is called, like our name, the song is called Shadow Has Wings, and uh, it's just kind of about what we're all about, I guess. I swear, the first word he said was eggs, you know, like, if, if, he, if he just said eggs and bacon, that would be very intimidating, I think, you know, viewers? Very intimidating. I had a horrible realization, guys, you know, like, twice in the last month, I've had barbecue, you know, like, pretty good barbecue, you know, from places that are supposed to be, you know, really good for it. Um, and to be entirely honest... I don't think, after all these years, I don't think that I like barbecue very much. I know, it, it's horrible, you know, I, I don't really like it very much. You know, like me, I'm a huge, you know, Mexican food person. I love Mexican food. I could eat it every day of my life. But I don't like, maybe it's just that I don't like pork very much, and all the barbecue I've had pretty much has been pork lately, but... Yeah, I guess I'm just not American. Go figure. Maybe this game was just being a jerk and we don't have to fight them. But I'm still saving up that Reaper form and potions just in case. Okay. Boots. So this looks like, um, the boss in the first game, the... What was he called? The, uh... Prison? Keeper? The, the jail keeper? I don't remember what he called him. Of course, in the big bump thing on his shoulder, he had, I guess, a... Uh, what did he have in that game? A cage with a guy in it. Darksiders 1 had some really good bosses. Dang it, I did not mean to use this yet, but I guess we'll make the best of it. So these guys aren't so bad, I guess. I meant to summon up our guys instead of activate reaper form, but... Really, they're not that hard, at least not yet. Okay, there's two at once out right now. But if we can kill them one at a time fast enough, only having one of these guys at once isn't bad, but watch out because they explode uh, poisonous stuff, I guess, like they did in the first game. Or like a lot of enemies did in the first game. By the, by the way, if, if you guys ever want, um, I can do a Darksiders 1 LP, you know, I know that game a lot better, I've gotten all the collectibles in that game, but, um, also that game would not take as long as this one does, in fact, in the, the amount of time uploaded now, we might have already beaten the first game, you know? Oh, that is nice! Those are okay, arcane. Let's check out our new gear, some of that stuff looked really really awesome so we just got these ups are arcane by 
30 points. We have these on now, right? We have these on. But these are so good. Well, yeah, the defense that we lose is not worth it. Plus, we get health regen, and that's that's awesome. All right, we also picked up um, not boots. We picked up this, I guess. Wow, this one's really good too, though. Plus twenty six arcane. Does arcane determine maximum wrath? I wonder. For now, though, I'll keep what we have on. Got some treasure chests. I'll take these. Give me something nice, I command you. Which reminds me, um, Invader Zim is an awesome show. It was ahead of its time on a channel that should not have been on. That show should not have been on Nickelodeon. But that's a funny show. I like that show. Okay. Climbing puzzle. I'm okay with this. Son of a bitch! Oh, bastard. I hate you, freaking. No time to waste. Game to I know that death, you deaf moron. Why? At least this isn't as bad as the lava was. The lava one was like impossible. Where do I go? Oh, you're freaking kidding me. Did I say that I'm okay with this jumping puzzle? I disagree with why can't I I could totally just run up and dodge it, couldn't I? Like if that's possible. I'm fast enough. What kind of sick bastard invents this? One, how many people can do this sort of thing? So, like, I mean, how applicable would this trap be? Like, in, in a real setting with, like, grave robbers and stuff, you know? If they had, if they wanted nobody to get in here, they would have just not put all these things around the room that we can climb on. You know what I mean? Okay, wow. We have to be really fast. Why can't I climb now? If I could skip this freaking thing, I would have a lot more time. So we have no time to stall. We have to go. Go, 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 go. No! Man! Okay, like the lava one, if I don't pass it, yeah, I'll, I'll give it two more tries. If I don't pass in two more tries, I'll just off-screen pass it. Because these can take me a while sometimes. You literally have to do it perfectly, because it rises so quickly, you know. You're dead if you don't. What kind of bastard would create this game? Oh, no, go, 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 go. No time for dilly-dallying death. No! Why wouldn't you go? Ah! See, the ground doesn't even look that deadly. Like, look at it, alright? Okay, it's on fire, I guess, but... We could survive for at least a little while down there. Couldn't we? <laughs> Monkey butt-loving. Son of a biscuit eater. By the way, I've determined that a very interesting statement is Fetch me a biscuit. I love... I don't know why I like that phrase, but I do. It just speaks of rich culture. No, up! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You wouldn't freaking do what I wanted you to do. Well, we got closer that time, so I'll try it again. As long as we get closer every time, I can show it, but... Also, you know, the death grip ability, you know? Like, why can't we grab onto normal things with it? You know what I mean? I mean, like, it has to be this special... glowing thing. We're dead, anyway. If we stall like that, we're, we're dead. There's no hope. No hope! 
Why did you wait long enough for it to go down, Death? Do you have a freaking Death Wish? Also, d does that snap the switch when it hits the switch? Because you'd think it would push the switch back up, and the thing would stop! But no. J drop, you son of a bitch! No! All right, viewers. Um, I will be right back when this puzzle is done. So, uh, see you in a few. Stay beautiful. Hey viewers, I'm back after about a hundred times of freaking trying that. So get this, the first time I try after saying that I'm gonna cut out and do it off uh, off camera, I get right to the end when it speeds up like 50 times and kills me because like as you go up the chute, it gets faster and faster and faster, like super fast by the end of it. And uh, like I got right to the end, like I was right below the main thing running up but I got killed. Um, and then for about 20 tries, I didn't even get close, because this game frickin' hates me. But anyway, that's done now, I guess I'm victorious, so let's continue through. Again, why is the switch here? If they're- why is the door locked if there's a switch next to the door? That's just unnecessary. But anyway, let's go. Some kind of, uh, big, uh, balcony? Whoa. They're all over the place, those things up there. Those have to be bosses of some sort. We're gonna have to fight one, I'm sure. Okay. That doesn't look so bad. We got this. We got this. Get him. Prowlers. Finish him off! Boom. You're dead, sir. Arcane amulet, not that amazing. That's all we had to fight? Man, that wasn't even worth the cutscene, man. Okay, this these guys are new. Abominations. They like poison. Well, you know what? We've got flocks. But hopefully we have enough mana to support. I don't think our flocks are cost effective at the moment. Because our, our, our arcane score isn't high enough to make them do a lot of damage, you know? We'd probably be better off just focusing on our normal attacks along with our uh, ghouls. So they shoot, they spit acid. You're dead. Is that it? That's all of them? Yeah! So, one more battle? Yep. A lich. Three liches. Okay, these guys are tough. You know what? Take them out quickly. With our awesome AoE attacks with our Reaper forms. So there's one left, two left, soon to be one, ow, no all three of them are still left, man these guys are tough, glad I used the sweeper form then, it's not a waste if they're that hard to kill, freaking hosts, I don't want to kill the hosts, shouldn't these guys be weaker, I mean they're like mages right? They're like necromancers, pretty much. Arcane stat, low health and defense, right? Die. Somehow we killed most of them, I guess. From a distance. The explosion should wipe them out. Oh! Is that it? Yeah, we did it! Okay, 
good, good, good. What's over there? Some kind of chest. Yep. Okay, let's go get that. I've got a bad feeling because we're climbing further and further up, and there's nowhere higher up than that place there. So I'm guessing we'd have some kind of boss battle up there. I really am getting sick of dungeons in this place, though. This game, it just has too many. Like, there, there's too many dun dungeons. They're all, like, the same. I mean, yeah, they might add a new few new abilities and different ones, but to be honest, I mean, I'm just now getting this. How long is this freaking dungeon? Like, honestly, how long is the dungeon? God. Okay. Like, if this game kept it fresh, you know, like, it's great that there's so many cool environments and things like that. But they don't have to, it seems like they didn't really have enough to show us in them, so that they just gave us, you know, just busy work, you know? And it's annoying. I just keep the game flowing quickly, you know? So we want to get over there, I guess. If we fall, can we get back up? Well, let's find out. Yep, we can. Good thing, too. That would have been such a waste. Gunslinger! Star trekking across the universe on the Starship Enterprise led by Captain Kirk! Go, Dr. Demento. He's hilarious. Okay. So this is where we started. Yes, it is. Oh! Dang it. That's okay. I left some money. Not that money is actually useful in this game, you know, because we get so much of it and have nothing really that we want to buy because we find gear that's better than what we can buy most of the time. And by the time we buy it, as soon as we walk out, we find something better than what we bought. So it's really just a waste, you know. Okay. So this looks like the highest level. Yes, it is. What is this? Some so I guess we can lower this and... It's like a super torch, I guess. Oh, it's way up there, so we're below it still. What is this? Some kind of monster, I know it. Okay, so we're going this way. What is the point of this room? Just busy? Just to fill up space? Okay. I'd like to get us right before the next boss fight, but if this dungeon's that much longer, I won't be able to. You know, I'm surprised that we just now found the dungeon map. You know, how long is this dungeon? Though I am, at least I'm hopefully getting the feeling that this is the last dungeon in the uh, Lands Beyond. I'm ready for it to be the last dungeon in the Lands Beyond. And if you're wondering, yeah, I'll, I'll do a bonus episode about the Deposed King. Um, I'll Google it real quick to find out if I have everything I need, because if I don't, I'm not going to waste time going there to look, you know. At least not on camera, but. So there's stuff over there. How do we get there? Can we climb that high? I don't think so. Screw it. What do you do? Okay. Now, if I step off the switch, do you go back to normal? Son of a bitch. And that's not open, so... This looks like a job for Soul Splitter. You know, actually, no. Unsoul Split. We'll Soul Split on top of the switch. So we can save our, uh, forms. 
just in case we end up needing both of them. Drop. Okay, sweet. So let's switch back. Whoa, what's that? What did you just do? No, don't hit the switch again. Dang it. I just saw an, an, uh, an arcane thing we can shoot, it looks like. In that other room back there. You see it? And if we shoot that, um, we'll collect it for that rock biter quest. Unrealistic scenery interaction. Are our bullets this big? Damn it. Stupid. I should be able to do that. Anyway, switch forms. Can we go ahead and end it? Nope. Well, but what we can do is save some time. I'll just soul split over here. Jump off. Okay, you go get the switch. You get the treasure chest. More loot, arcane critical damage. Alright, that's all we need here. Okay, well, you know, this is a good stopping point, viewers. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's been an okay episode. I liked it, you know. Did you have fun? I hope you did. So comment, you know, rate, subscribe, tell me I suck, tell me I'm awesome. You know, tell me what you had for breakfast. It's all good to know. Good to hear from you. So, uh, thanks for watching, viewers. This is Heretic Plus, signing out.